In this session, we are going to discuss memory management. Memory management is a very important function which operate, operating system does because you see if you want to execute any program then the program has to be loaded in the computer's memory. So, computer's memory is one of the main resources or common and important resources to execute one program inside the computer. So, that is why we should use this particular resource to our fullest usage. We should not keep any program residing in the computer's memory which is not now in execution and will which will not be executed in near future. So, we should become we should become very much choosy to select those modules and programs or program segments which will stay in the computer's memory which will be currently in execution or will get executed in very near future and which has been demanded for execution then only that has to be brought in the computer's memory. So, we should not jumbled up the memory with unutilized program codes. So, to discuss this one let me discuss the address binding at first. So, let me show you what is our agenda today. So, here we are going to discuss address binding, dynamic loading, dynamic linking and overlays. So, these are the main topic we are going to discuss in this particular agenda. So, address binding can be done in three different forms. One is the compile time address binding, load time address binding and execution time address binding. What are they? If you purchase any train ticket reserve compartment, say you are going to have a traveling of say 24 hours. So, you require a confirmed berth for you. So, if you purchase one train ticket which is a confirmed ticket, there will be getting the train name, train number, departure time, the coach number, the berth. Also, you can get the idea whether, whether it is upper berth or lower berth or middle berth and so on. So, when you are purchasing one train ticket, you are getting all the details prior. You might be traveling one month later, but you know what will be the situation where you are going to get your birth. So, the same thing is happening in case of compile time address binding. I am discussing this one, compile time address binding. So, compile time address binding means in this particular address binding, during the compilation, the absolute address will get embedded in the executable code. That means, the program knows that from which address it is supposed to get loaded and from where it is supposed to get executed. So, that is why in case of compile time address binding, we are having one advantage and one disadvantage. The advantage here is that the it will require a minimum setup time. After entering into my uh, coach, I know that where I am going to sit. I, know, I did not to ask any other person, say is the seat vacant? is the seat available, is the seat occupied, I need not to ask anyone because I know. So, minimum setup time is one of the advantages of compile time address binding. What is the main disadvantage of compile time address binding? Let us suppose the program which is going to get loaded is targeting to a certain memory location which is preoccupied by any other program. Then what will happen? If the, if the memory space is preoccupied by any other program, then what will happen? The collision will take place. The current program will override the previously existing program in the memory, in the particular memory block. So, that is the main disadvantage. Next one will be our load time address binding. Load time address binding means when the program will get compiled, then all the addresses will be in the relocatable addressing format. I am not getting. Let us suppose I have purchased one flight ticket. So, when I have purchased the flight ticket, I know that what is the flight number and when it will depart, when it will arrive, probable arrival time, everything, date, I know, I know everything. But I do not know which seat I am going to get. Am I going to get a seat in the rear end of the flight or near the wing or in the front side? I do not know. So, when I shall reach to the counter, then I shall get a boarding pass and when I shall get a boarding pass, then only I know that my seat number and my location of the seat within the flight. So, same thing happens in case of load time and disbinding. When the program is getting compiled, I can draw one diagram for you. When the program is getting compiled, it is telling that the starting address will be 0, 
and the ending at this will be say 4000 because that is the 4k is the size of the program i know that 4k is not actually 4000 for the timing just see that it will the starting at this will be 0 and ending at this will be 4000 but when the program is getting loaded then the loader is telling from the location 2000 onwards i am having 10000 bytes of memory space free and your size is 4000 i think you can fit there so your starting address will be 2000 so this relocatable address plus this base address what you are getting you are getting the physical address so 0 will be converted to 2000 1 will be converted to 2001 and 4000 will be converted to 6000 so that is known as your load time address binding that is your load time address binding so compile time address binding means confirm train ticket load time address binding means confirm flight ticket but what about this execution time at this binding? Let us suppose in the flight I have got my seat. I am sitting just beside one old lady, aged lady. So now one young uh, boy has come to me and the gentleman is asking that you are sitting beside my mother. Can you, can you exchange seat with me? I am having no problem to exchange, exchange seat with that young lad. Then, then I shall move to his seat. And he will be sitting in my seat because he can sit by side by uh, beside her uh, beside his mother. So the same thing is happening in case of execution and at disbanding. The program has got loaded into the memory. It might be executing also, but during that period of time, if I can move that program from one memory block to another memory block, if it is allowed, then I shall say it is execution time at disbanding. So the new address will be allocated to the respective program. Obviously, it is possible if initially it was in the load time address binding, not in the form of absolute address binding or say compile time address binding. So that is the main issue that is known as the execution time address binding. So now in the next video, we will be going for this dynamic loading, dynamic linking and overlays. Please be with us in the next videos. We will be discussing all these topics into the details. Thanks for watching this one.